Those bell tower idiots are tearing the whole building apart. Especially the Ah, a visitor to Lower City. What do you think of our roof, stranger? Doesn't it create a lovely atmosphere? Buddy Les never pays to get into the hive. Somebody told us that the hive is the place to go around here. Yes, many business people from Upper Hangsha go there. The hive is a members only club, Lao Wai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? Maybe another time. All right, your business. You come back and see me if you change your mind.
got to be kidding me. The owner of the most popular club in Hangzhou has his office in a smelly old basement. You got a favorite poison? The Golden Phoenix Sling. Oh, a man of taste, are we? Excellent choice. There you go. You got a favorite poison? I'm looking for Tong. Everyone wants to talk to Tong. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. It's gone. My pocket secretary. Everyone's swimming in profits right now and playing with their toy augmentations. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guailo. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? 
You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What he do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backwards, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tom's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You... smarter than you look. Yeah? Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is the hottest thing in town right now. But nobody in Hengsha is going to let an outsider in on the action, especially not a Guaido. You don't know the rules of the game around here. Give me a break. I've been on this island long enough to know that Van Bruggen can't leave without Tong's help. He has to be hiding in Lower Hengsha somewhere, and Tong can tell me where. You're pretty quick on the uptake, but you're still behind in the game. We hide Van Bruggen somewhere safe, but Tong's not going to tell you where. Now you can leave here with dignity. You know more than you came in with. Just don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. You say anything to get rid of me, won't you? There's no way Tom can hold on to Van Bruggen for long. Not with the kind of resources his enemies are throwing into the search. He'll be dead within a week, and Tong with him. Unless somebody, namely me, takes the heat off, and soon. I wonder if you would say that if you knew the kind of heat the Dragon Queen gives off. But I won't refuse a gift horse when it's staring me in my mouth. Tong's office is downstairs. I'll radio the others to let you through.
欢这里的设备吗？是高科技的。好，我不接受点歌的，我可是个艺术家。想要什么东西，大把再去看看See this? Panda screw it up in the fourth. I'm just flushing my money down the pot. Your tongue. <laughs> you only work that out now. Guess you're not as sharp as you think. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? <laughs> you're still in business. Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods, capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. That's right. Hey. Leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. You got a favorite poison? Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong Operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So, we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip, so she could understand her clients' needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due. But she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes. But it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart. Assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does. And that's where you come in. 
Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town, a series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yuzhou district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. <laughs>